Hi. I would like to bring up the subject of the um, Bible translation that should be avoided. Um, it is called the um, Queen James Bible. Um, it, I mean, it is not an, a new translation. It's basically, um, it's ba basically the 1769 King James Bible with um, certain verses about homosexuality um, being being edited. Um, so it's a minimalist re revision, but it's su suited for um, a pro-gay um, audience. And um, what are the verses that they changed in that ver version? Well, let's let's take a look. Um, well, starting with Genesis 19:5, um, this is the King James Version rendering, and they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? Bring them out to unto us, so that we may know them. Now, the term knowing in, in in that context means to have sexual intercourse and um, here's how the Queen James Version um, renders it and they called out unto Lot and said unto him where are the men which came un in to thee this night bring them out unto us so that we may rape and humiliate them um, now I'm not saying that um, that their intent, their intent what wasn't to um, rape, or, rape or humiliate them. I mean, but um, that's basically not what what's in the original text. I mean, I mean, if you compare comparing it to um, the the original manuscripts that it came from, I mean, that's that that's basically. Um, the Queen James Version's um, ed editor's um, take take on a whole thing. Now, next two verses I would like to bring up um, is is Leviticus eighteen twenty two and Leviticus twenty thirteen. And um, in Leviticus eighteen twenty two is Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind; it is abomination. In Leviticus 20.13, if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Now, um, now the Queen, Queen James Version adds the phrase in the temple of Moloch in, in, in those two verses. Basically to say that this is... Um, not talking about homosexuality um, in general, but talk talking about um, homosexual practices in in a um, pagan temple. I mean, and in a temple, Moloch um, is a term that that was borrowed from pr from the um, previous verse um, about about sacrificing your children to to um, Moloch, which. Which um, the Lord forbids, and um, nowhere is is the term in the Temple of Moloch in in the um, original rendering of the um, scriptures. Now, um, next verse I would like to bring up. Um, next two verses um, is um, Romans one twenty six to twenty seven. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, burned in their lust, one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in, in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. That's the King James rendering of the uh, verses. Now, um, now, now the um, Queen James Version editors um, rearranged these two verses um, and added things to to them which are which are not part of the original um, original rendering in 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 
in script in scripture. Um, here's how they render it: Their woman did change their natural use into that which is against nature, and likewise also the men left of the natural use of the woman burned in ritual lust one toward another, men with men working that which is pagan and unseemly. For this cause God gave the idolaters up unto vile factions, receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was made. I mean, basically they added to the, to the Word of God and um, And scripture says that adding to the word of God or taking away from it is dangerous. Right. Now, um, next verse I want to bring up is 1 Corinthians um, 6, 9. Um, know ye not that the righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. And the next verse goes on to say they neither none of those people shall inherit the kingdom of God. That's the King James Version rendering of it. And um and um the Queen James Version re rendering of that particular verse is Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor morally weak, nor promiscuous. Here they changed um, some some of the wording around, I mean, they changed um, effeminate to morally weak and um, abusers of themselves and mankind with, with um, promiscuous. And, um, and that's very dangerous. Okay, next verse I want to talk about is First Timothy one ten. Uh, this is the King James um, version rendering of it. For whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, with men, for men stealers, for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, and the term, the term defiled themselves being with mankind is similar to, I mean, I mean, similar to the term abusers of themselves and mankind with previous verse that I was talking about, talking about um, homosexuals. Now, the editors of the uh, Queen James Bible um, objected to the expression defiled themselves with mankind, so they simply deleted with mankind. So this is how they are under it. For whoremongers, for them that defile themselves, for men stealers, for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. And the uh, final verse that I want to mention is um, Jude 1 7. Um, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. That, I mean, that's the King James Version rendering of it. Um, strange flesh here refers to illicit use of the human body. Now, um, the Queen James Version um, changes it to um, this, even as Sodom, Gomorrah, and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after non-human flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Now, um, now those those verses um, are basically spitting in the face of um, God's holy inerrant word, um, basically cha changing things to suit um, a pro-gay agenda, and um, I really don't like that, and um, it, it's offensive of God, and it's offensive to, um, to Bible-believing Christians, and um, And the, the editors are get, getting themselves in trouble with God, and they're um, 
basically pro pro promoting a her um, heresy. Um, this is a book. Bible translation that should be avoided if you are, are a Bible believing Christian. And um, I f feel it is important to, to um, give a warning about this um, translation. You'll you'll see it on Amazon. It's um, it's basically basically has a uh, cross with uh, made of um, two. Um, rainbow beams and um, anyway that's pretty much all I have to share with you this morning I'm sorry this video is a little longer than expected but um, just the subject matter um, needs to be um, mentioned so have a good day and God bless you